DVD entertainment system, if so equipped. Your vehicle's DVD entertainment system consists of a DVD player, an LCD screen, a remote control, and wireless headphones. DVDs can be viewed on both the front control panel display and the rear flip-down display screen for second row passengers. For safety purposes, videos will not show on the front display while the vehicle is in any drive position. To play a DVD on both screens, turn the ignition to ACC or on, move the shift lever into park and activate the parking brake. Then press the power button on the audio system and insert a DVD into the CD slot. The player will grab the DVD and load it automatically. Be sure that the label of the DVD faces up when loading. When a DVD is loaded, it will start to play automatically. You can use the remote control, audio system controls, and the touch screen to operate the entertainment system. If you press the setting button on the control panel and enter the display menu, you can adjust the brightness, tint, color, contrast, and black level of the control panel display. While a DVD is playing, press the Disc Auxiliary button to display additional DVD options. Use the multifunction controller to highlight an option on the screen, then press the Enter button to select and adjust. The touchscreen can also be used to select and adjust items. Here is a brief description of how to use the DVD player controls to adjust DVD play. Use the Play key to play a disc. Select the Pause key to pause play. Select the stop key to stop the disc in play. Select the skip forward or skip rewind key and then press enter to skip to the next chapter or the beginning of the current one. The chapters will skip forward or backward as many times as the enter button is pressed. Select the top menu key when a DVD is playing and the DVD menu will appear. Select the settings key to access a menu of additional options and adjustments to DVD play. For independent listening and adjustments from rear seats, your system also comes with a remote control and wireless headphones. Your remote control has many different button functions. We will cover the main features here to get you started. Please refer to your owner's manual for further details. When using the remote control, always aim at the bottom of the screen. Press the rear display open close button on the remote to open or close the rear display screen. Use the arrows on the center button to select items displayed on the rear screen. Press Enter to complete a selection. Press Play to play a disc. Press Pause to pause a disc during play. Press Stop to discontinue DVD play. Press Skip Forward or Skip Rewind to skip to the next chapter or the beginning of the current one. The chapters will skip forward or backward as many times as the button is pressed. Press the back button to exit the current menu and return to the previous menu. To select DVD or auxiliary modes, press the corresponding button. Wireless headphones are supplied for passenger convenience. Turn the headphones on using the headphone power switch and adjust audio levels using the headphone volume control. As a safety precaution, headphones will not work in the front seats. If headphones do not receive an audio signal after five minutes, they will automatically turn off to save battery power. Each of the headphones and the remote control require two batteries. Remove their covers to insert fresh batteries as needed. The disc auxiliary button on the audio system allows you to switch between main DVD play and auxiliary inputs such as video games, iPods, or USB devices. Press to toggle between the different modes. The auxiliary input jacks on the center console allow compatible devices to be plugged into the DVD system, accepting NTSC compatible devices such as video games, camcorders, portable video players, and some MP3 players. These jacks are color-coded for easy identification. The yellow input jack is for video input, white is for left audio input, and red is for the right audio input. Before connecting a device to the jacks, make sure the device is turned off. The USB jack is located on the center console storage box, and it enables you to view video files from some USB-compatible devices on the entertainment system in vehicles equipped with the navigation system. Plug a compatible storage device into the jack, then select the Play Movie Contents option to watch movie files stored on the device, if so equipped. 
Once a device is plugged into the USB or auxiliary input jacks, press the disk auxiliary button repeatedly to switch to the auxiliary or iPod USB input modes. Press the eject button to eject the DVD from the player. Please refer to your owner's manual for a complete review of the DVD player, all DVD player keys, features, and operations.